Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Emily's Blotchy Skin. Seriously, I've been in the car for about an hour. This happens when I get in the car. I don't know why. If you're a dermatologist out there, let me know. It's probably because I'm warm. I don't know. Whatever. So anyway, I am at a very familiar space. Whoop, whoop, can you see, can you see? I'm house hunting again, as you can probably tell by the title of this video. All right, so update on the townhouse that I put in an offer on on my last house hunt. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos since then, um, I didn't get it, unfortunately. Um, there were at least three offers and there might have been more. Um, and I came in second place, unfortunately. So they told me that I didn't miss it by much. So by much, I'm sure I was within like a couple hundred bucks, but that kind of sucks. But a really cool thing happened when I was leaving this place, actually in this same parking spot, is a guy came up to me and said, hey, are you the realtor? And I said, oh no, no, I was just looking at that house. I actually might even put in an offer on it because I hadn't like fully decided then. And he has the exact same home, like the same exact unit, but he was thinking about selling his unit. So he thought I was the realtor and wanted to get some information and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he and I talked and he said, well, why don't I give you my phone number? And if you don't either put in an offer or you want to see mine or you don't get it, let me know. So I actually called him the other day and we are meeting him at 4.30. And when I say we, I mean Jody and I are meeting him. Um, you guys know Jody from Life's Organized Chaos here on YouTube. I will leave her channel links down below. Um, she actually owns a townhome down in the South Metro and I'm actually looking for townhomes up in the North Metro. So um, I was originally looking for like a standalone home, but these prices, like you just can't beat it, you guys. It's, it's amazing. So now that she knows that I'm considering townhomes. Um, she is... Okay, so anyway, but um, Jody is meeting me up here because um, she actually owns a townhome down in the South Metro. I already said all this stuff. She has a ton of insight on like different experiences and things like that. I actually think that her mom either was a realtor or worked for a realtor or something like that um, for a long time. And I think maybe her mom still does it. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so she's got a lot of insight into townhomes and associations and all of that. So she like legit last night was writing questions to ask ask this guy and like things I would never even think of. So anyway, but um, she should be here fairly soon and um, Lai will take you guys around the home and I'll probably check in with you later on. Later on. She's gonna come back and meet Doyle, which she's really excited about. And so this is gonna be a little bit longer of a house hunt because I think we might go grab some dinner and hang out a little bit too. So anyway, um, that's gonna be it for now and let's look at the house. There's Jody. All right, so another house hunt. Um, I'm actually in a very similar unit from before, but it's just a couple doors down. So I'm just gonna walk through really quickly and show you guys what's going on. Um, let's go out to the garage, which is kind of cool. And then, ooh, look at this. I didn't even notice this before. There's like a bank of cabinets up here. That's really nice for storage. That's really nice. All right, still got the little bench like the last place. And if you walk down the hallway, there is the bathroom, which is good. Nice cabinet. Cabinets are in really good shape here. I really like the quality of the cabinetry. So there we go. Just in case you're wondering, that's the cable TV hookup. All right, and then, there is the utility room and then this little guy here is a rental and it's 30 bucks a month if I want to keep that um, soft water thing, which I probably would because there was an issue before, so that's fine. Jody. <laughs> so here is the dining room and kitchen, exactly the same as the last place. However, the like color of the wood is a little bit different. Um, this is more that golden oak and the other one was a little bit darker, but then you walk outside. Oh, and by the way, he like um, planked this whole wall, which is actually kind of cool. So, and then if you go outdoors, the outdoor is actually kind of cool. 
So there are two cement pads. Whoop. And then this like little pergola situation that's gonna come with it. And then these two little guys also come with it. And again, the road, but it's rush hour right now. And that's all there is. Pretty boring, pretty boring. Okay. Oh, well, there she is again. All right. And the paint color is a little dark, but that's okay. It's easy enough to change. And then again, up there is the little lofty face situation. And the floor in here is like a hardwood laminate. And then over here is a carpeting. And there's the living room. And then let's go upstairs. All right. So same little window, but these have blinds, which I'm very excited about. All right. And the little loft area, which is pretty cool. And there's also the ceiling fan, which is like my favorite thing ever. Hello. All right. So here is the main bathroom and the cabinets are all in really good shape. And then in here, it's the same as the last place, and it has the wire shelving in here. Cabinets are in pretty good shape. And then, you know, bathroom. Nothing too fancy in here, but that's okay. You're back. <laughs> you like just keep showing up out of the corner like, hi, hi guys. <laughs> All right, whoa. The wall is in the way. All right, and then here is the washer and dryer. It's the same exact situation as the last place. These are a little bit different of actual appliances, but work slick. And then, I like how wide this hallway is. It's like hard to capture on camera, but it's like very wide. And this is the smaller of the bedrooms, but exactly the same as the last place. There's like a really big boom box in the corner. Maybe I can get that as part of the deal. <laughs> anyway, but what's really cool about this unit is that there are ceiling fans in the bedroom, so I wouldn't have to actually get ceiling fans. But again, very large walk-in closet in this room, which is amazing. And then in the master, I feel like in this master, it's a whole lot easier to see because his furniture is not overwhelmingly big like the other place, but I really, really like it. Um, and it, it feels so much bigger. Like it feels like what my stuff would be. And then again, here is the master closet. So this is it for the tour. Hi. All right, so the showing has ended and I just got home from a lovely dinner with Miss Jody. We went to the People's Cafe. It was very, very townish. It was good, it was delicious, and they gave us way too much food. But um, she is gone now, she is on her merry way home. However, I figured I'd give you guys a little update after we, well we, I mean me, but Jody was there too talk to the homeowner and I think I said this before but this home is not listed at all um, this individual is just selling it and he thought he wanted to sell it last year and he got his home appraised and everything and today he and I came up to a number and the number is good I feel like it's totally worth it and he doesn't you know feel like he's being taken advantage of or anything so we're both like on the same straight and narrow so tomorrow i'm going to be calling some home inspectors um that was really my only contingency is that i wanted a home inspection done and he totally agreed so i'm gonna get a home inspection done and he said he was totally fine with me doing that at any time but just to communicate with him and he said he really wanted to be there for the home inspection as well so we're just going to coordinate our schedules and thankfully our schedules are actually very very similar so that's a plus but anyway i am going to wrap it up for now um i don't really know any other details besides that yet he is going to start actually looking for other homes for himself um, he's been there like uh, I think I said this but he has been there since the beginning of the home so he has owned it since 2002 when it was first built and you know he just said it's a great community but he just feels like it's time to move on you know like he he just wants a different property which I totally understand so 
Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm rambling on again, so hope this wasn't uh, too long for you guys. But I will leave a link below to my last house hunt so you guys can kind of see the similarities and the differences in the properties. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these house hunt videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And then also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna have any more house hunts for you guys because I'm pretty well sold on this. Um, if for some reason this deal goes awry, I'll let you know. But, all right, that is it from me and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.